so in this video i'll show you how you can create a react application in which the data automatically get refreshed after a certain interval so here is the application that you have if you refresh the page it is yeah you can see it is it was showing initial name initially and after that this is the data that is being automatically updated it is automatically updated in every uh, two seconds so basically you can change that if you inspect that you know you can check in the network tab you can see it is making api call there so basically what we are doing is that in every two seconds we are making the api call and we are getting the data from the api and we are updating the data in the view so let's see how you can create this react application in which the data automatically gets refreshed after every two seconds okay so here is the api that we will be using to generate random data okay so this is the api so basically you can see it, it returns us different properties like first name last name username all those things so when you refresh this page you know it uh, returns as a new response so basically whenever you are hitting this api it will get it will generate different different data so we'll be using this api endpoint to uh, so how you can automatically refresh data in a react application okay so let's go back to vs code so in vs code i have created a blank react application using vit and i have started the application locally on the right side you can see if you refresh this page it is showing us hello world okay so yeah so first of all to demonstrate the application so first of all i'll be using the you know i'll be using the use effect hook and uh, before that so basically from the api we will be picking up the first name property and for basically we will store that first in the state so let's uh, import the use state first and first of all here i will be creating a first name i will basically store the first name in the state so let's do that and after that i will create a function that will basically uh, call the basically uh, that will make a fetch call to the api and it will get the response so let me create a new function okay so i have created a function that will basically send a get request to that api endpoint and it will fetch the first name and it will store that first name in the uh, first name state okay so after that i will want to run it so basically i will use a use effect hook and here basically uh so basically if you want to refresh the data automatically then you have two ways so basically you can use the set interval or you can use the set time out as well so first of all i will show it how you can do it using set interval okay so here i have created a so basically i have created use effect hook and what we have done is that uh we want the data to be refreshed in every two seconds that's why you have passed 2000 milliseconds so basically it is calling the set interval and inside that we are calling the face data so basically we will be calling this face data method in every two seconds okay and so and one more thing is that we have to clear the interval as well so we have stored the timer id in the timer id and uh, we have to clear that interval as well so we have invoked the clear interval function and pass that timer id and we want that function basically we want this use effect hook to run only the first time that is the component gets mounted that's why you have passed that uh, blank array okay so now we can display the name in the screen so i'll create a h3 element and i'll just render the name here so on the right side you can see the name has been printed if we refresh this page so first it is showing initial name then the name is changed and now the name is changing yeah looks like it is working so you can see like the name is being changed automatically in every two seconds so i'll just give you a over overview what we have done so basically what we have done is that we have used the use effect too so basically uh 
we have used a set interval and you know that set interval basically what it does is that if you set an interval then it will continue run that function in every uh, that uh, in every alternate time okay so basically we have uh, given here uh, 2000 so it will continue to run this in every uh, two seconds okay and uh, yeah that's about it all right so this time we will be building the same application but this time we will be using a uh, set timeout okay so let's do that so basically what you have to do for set timeout you have to change it to set timeout okay and this function will be clear timeout clear timeout okay and what else yeah so one more thing is that you have to pass this thing here the first name so basically when we are using the set timeout so we want uh, basically we want this use effect uh, this function use effect function to run when the first name changes okay so when you are using the set timeout then it's important that you have to pass that dependency here because the main difference is that set timeout uh, so unlike set interval so basically in set interval it will continue run that function but set time out will not run this function set timeout basically will run this function only once okay so basically it will run this function only once and that's after like 2000 seconds so when the component gets mounted so after that after the two seconds this function will run and when this function will run that is basically what it is doing it is updating the state that is the first name and we have passed that first name as a dependency here so that means when the first name changes then this use effect this function runs once again so then that means it will continue to run in every two seconds so you can see on the right side if you refresh this page then yeah it is working so it is you can see you can see that it is uh, refreshing the name in every two seconds so yeah these are the simple example so like this is how you can uh, create a react application in which the data automatically gets refreshed okay, automatically and so i have shown you how you can do it using set timeout and using set interval so you can achieve this using both set timeout and using set interval so yeah that's it for today thanks for watching have a nice day